Hi everybody, my name is Amy from realenglishconversations.com where we help students just like you to improve their English, to sound natural, and to be able to communicate in everyday situations just like we do. Today I have a really cool video and I'm going to reteach you how to handle an introduction the very first few seconds where you have a conversation with a new person. If you've ever learned the classic phrase from the textbook where you say, how are you? The other person says, good. And you? We need to erase that from your vocabulary, restart today, and teach you how to handle this set of questions like a native speaker so that you sound a lot more natural. I can tell you every time I hear a student say, and you, I think, oh, oh, this is textbook learning. We need to not do this. And I teach them a few different ways to try to sound a little bit more natural in this sort of interaction. So today we're going to handle three common questions that you'll hear and the three responses you can give back one of them is sort of informal and a little bit more of a slang, but I'm going to cover it anyway so that you don't have an awkward moment when you're trying to sound cool. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay, the first question that you're going to hear, probably the most common one, is how's it going? Okay, you walk into a store, person's going to say, oh hey, how's it going? And then you need to respond. You can say good, but I would recommend saying pretty good. Pretty good, thanks. And how's it going with you? This is a natural way to handle this sort of question. The pretty good answer is better than good because when somebody says that they're good, we aren't really sure if they're really good. It sounds kind of like, oh, I'm okay. So if you say pretty good, you're not really going to get any additional questions about how you're doing. People don't think you're excited. They don't think you're sad. They just continue on with the rest of the conversation with no other questions, okay? So you might have also noticed that I asked the same question back, which is similar to saying, and you, but it sounds more natural. So if I say, how's it going? Pretty good. And then the other person will say, how's it going with you? And they'll reply, oh, I'm pretty good too. And then probably say something else. This is how the conversation will go with this set of questions and answers. Let's do another one. The second one is, how are you? Okay, someone will walk up to another person, say, oh, hey, hey, how are you doing? Or how are you? And you'll say the same thing, pretty good, thanks. And then you'll throw the question back, and how are you doing? And they'll say, pretty good too, or I'm good, or whatever they want to say. So this is another way to handle this type of question. You can interchange these two. So if somebody says, how's it going? You can say, pretty good, how are you doing? That's okay. But these ones are really, really common, and you're going to hear them in any situation if you're at the cashier, if you're buying a movie ticket, if whatever, you see somebody on the street, you can start off with this sort of dialogue. Okay, the third question is a little bit more of an informal slang situation. Usually young people use it or, I don't know, very, very informal situation where you feel comfortable with the people that you're hanging out with. So these people might ask you, what's up? And if you say good and you, that's completely weird and it doesn't make sense. I don't even know how to answer that when I hear it. I've had it happen in lessons where I've said, oh, hey, how's it going? What's up? And the person says, good and you? And I'm like, eh, no, no, we need to answer this in a really, really specific way. So if someone says, what's up? You have to say, not much. It doesn't matter if you're busy. It doesn't matter if you're going somewhere. Don't think about your answer. Just reply with not much. 
any other type of explanation actually gives the feeling that you don't have time to have the conversation that you're having with the person in that moment. So you really need to reply with not much because it sounds like I'm not doing anything else but having a conversation with you right now. Okay. Now a question that you can ask back is how's it going with you or what's been happening with you? These are really, really common replies after someone says what's up to you. So it's going to sound like, what's up? Eh, not much. What's happening with you? Eh, same old, not much, blah, blah, blah. I've been working a lot or whatever the second person wants to say. So I hope that these three questions break you out of the habit of saying, and you, when somebody asks you how you're doing and, you know, stop saying this. It sounds like a beginner. It sounds like a textbook. And it's the one way that I identify very, very quickly that somebody is an English learner. So if you want to sound more natural, try to learn some of these questions and answers and start trying to use them in every single conversation and interaction you have in English. Don't forget to give us a like on this video and leave a comment below. Just tell me, are you still using the and you reply? Tell me which one of these questions you think is the best and the most helpful for you in your situation. And don't forget to come to our website at realenglishconversations.com. You're going to get access to a lot of really good resources that we have with natural English that people are using in everyday life. And if you're looking for people to practice with because all you're doing is studying online and watching videos, you might want to know that some of our memberships allow you to join conversation practice sessions and you get access to the online courses. I recommend starting at our website by joining as a free member to see some of the lessons and what we've got going on. And you can do that at realenglishconversations.com. So we'll see you next time.